It's Doug Smith. It's uh, uh, now it's um, Wednesday, and um, this will be uh, almost a training a day we've done so far for the new year. Just want to do a quick uh, video on MLS. So, um, again, our website that we uh, go to is matrix.netris.net. I um, always put that on my phone and save it as a home screen. So I can, uh, I think I was on the MLS at least 12 hours yesterday, it seemed like, and six of them were in my car, pulled over at a gas station, just logging into MLS. So um, this is our screen. And once you log in, again, matrix.netris.net, um, once you log in, you're going to get um, a screen that has about 14 boxes. And you're going to always click the left box in the corner, Netrix, Netris Matrix. That will get you to this screen. And uh, last night when I onboarded an agent, um, we cleaned up their MLS together. And it kind of looks like this only. Just makes it easy to um, train on. I wanted to really concentrate on this little box right here. Of course, you can move it wherever you want. Um, I just keep it right here in the middle. It It's kind of dummy proof. So I'm going to actually... I'm going to maximize it a little. Okay. So um, yesterday I was looking at a property at 3668 County Road, 770. If I wanted to pull that up in the MLS and it's 3668 County Road, all I have to do is 3668 and a C and hit enter and it'll pull up everything with that address. Okay. Uh, so that's one way to use this square. Another way is if you just knew the street name, Fall Meadow, all you need to do is type in this uh, street name, you hit enter, and the MLS stores homes all the way back to 2003, so you could go down and look for the home and find it that way if you had to. It's just one way to, to kind of do a um, trial and error, okay? Um, let's say that you didn't know if it was one or two words, Fall, you could just go Fall. And hit enter it's going to pull up every home since 2003 with an f-a-l-l -L in it let's say you go back to dashboard and let's say you know it's in princeton um well the first thing you need to do is you'll type in princeton now to find the city quicker you can put city you pick one of the cities and then real quick type in while it's still highlighted Type in the city real quick. So there's Princeton. And then if you just said, huh, it starts with a C, you could hit Princeton and C, and it'll pull up every single property in Princeton that starts with a C. And you could scroll down and find it that way. You can do it by zip code. If they know that it's on Fall Meadow and the zip code is 75024, you could do that and hit search and it'll pull up all the homes in that sub in that zip code since 2003 that start with F-A-L-L. -L. The biggest thing that I find that people get confused on is when it says County Road, because sometimes County Road is spelled out and sometimes it's C-R. That th the best thing to do is to just put a C and that way it covers both county and just C-R and then try to get this this the zip code maybe the city all that will eliminate um you know properties to narrow it down especially if you're having a problem trying to find a property um sometimes you'll have something like um let's say it's 36 35 okay garden brook but the unit number is 4300 you could do that so if it's 36 35 garden brook unit 4300 let's see what comes up Oh, look at that. 3635 Garden Brook Unit 4300. So um, again, this is a great tool to use. And I'll have agents that will text me and they can't find a property in the MLS. And I'll just tell them, let's go here together and work on it. And we'll find it based on this square. It's one of the most important um, tools that's in the MLS, in my opinion. OK, and then real quick, let's just do a search and then we'll conclude this training. Uh, you have somebody that calls you and wants to look at a res uh, look at lease properties. You're going to hover over search. And again, you're going to go to residential leases. You could go to quick or detailed. I just go to because it's the first option. 
Uh, when you go there, you're going to see your screen opens up and you're looking at active homes. You go over here and you go uh, zero to 2,500. They want a few cities. So let's say they want the colony, Carrollton, Louisville. Okay, and I'm going to minimize my screen so you can see a little better what's going on here. All right, so you can see there's 24 homes and condos. See how I have both these marked over here where my cursor is? So I'm going to just do homes. And it went from 24 to 21. From here, they said they wanted a three bedroom plus. Still 21 homes. They wanted a two bedroom plus. There's 20 homes. And then they wanted a home built uh, 1997 and newer. There's three. So at this point, you hit three things. Results save new auto email. Results save new auto email. And you basically need to create the client. <clears throat> so it's Tim the tenant. And his email is uh, t at tell.com. You hit save. Once you hit save, you're going to type in here lease homes. Scroll to the bottom. And you hit save again. You just emailed it. So, again, I hope that helps on a little training this morning. Y'all be safe and go get some.